Hey curlies and welcome to my monthly vlog with Curlformers. This month I am focusing on what products to use with Curlformers. So I've been reading your tweets and your Instagram comments to me asking me what products are best to use with the Curlformers. So I thought that this vlog this month I will focus on me looking at different variety of products and try them out with the Curlformers and see what works best. Oh, so the products I have chosen to test on my hair are the following products. Boots, Essential Natural Control and Defines Curls. It's a curl cream. We have Mixed Roots Oil Replenishing Oil. Some curlies are fans of oils and I know that I've heard that some oils just are too greasy on the hair with the curl formers or don't penetrate through, through our hair. So I'm gonna give this one a try and see how it works. We have Mrs. Millie's Leave-In Sweetness. It is vanilla and strawberry and it's a sheer butter. As I know some of us curlies like to stay away from the custards and the lotions. So I thought I'll try sheer butter for you. Aloe vera gel. So some of our curlies are fans of gels. I've never ever used aloe vera gel on my hair, but I've heard about it and I see other bloggers that have used it. So I thought I'd give it a try. So we're gonna try the aloe vera gel, um, which will give us certainly hold. I stay away from curling mousses, I don't really like them. So I wanted to try the gel. So curlies, to do my product test, I'm using the sample kits that curl formers have which are really, really handy if you're thinking about using curl formers. And again, also if you're thinking about what products would actually work if I bought the curl formers. So these are great to get if you are thinking about using curl formers and like me are gonna do a product test. You get eight of the spiral curls in the kits, which is great. So I'm gonna be using about four or five um, as that's how many products I will be testing in my hair today. So you will need my curlies your softed hook and your kit. So firstly, it's time to spray my hair with the root to tip um, detangling leave-in conditioner. Now usually I use a spray bottle, which you've probably seen before, but as I've just come out of the bath, I've shampooed and conditioned my hair, I'm gonna put this leave-in conditioner in my hair first, okay? So the first product that is going into my hair the Boots Curl Cream. Okay, so that's how much I'm using. It's quite thick. And I'm just gonna, again, root to tip and just make sure you distribute it all the way to the end. My curlies. So you need your hook, your spiral curl. Oh look, my hair must be growing. Look at that. I'll need the extra, extra long soon. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tuck that in a little bit. It goes in. There we go. One in. Product two, a mixed roots curl stretching custard. I'm gonna open it up. You see, it's kind of like a yellowy colour. So the curl stretching custard I've chosen to use because many of you curlies have said that you find your curl your, with your curl formers that you get shrinkage and it's natural us curlies always get shrinkage with our curls because look how straight my curls are, look, look how long they are but that never happens, they always shrink so you are going to get a certain amount of shrinkage with the curl formers but let's see if the mixed roots lives up to the expectations now we're on product three and i'm taking my aloe vera gel okay I'm gonna, oh. so yeah it's clear it doesn't really smell like anything Thank you. 
was. So to the left, we have put in, first one was our boot curl cream, which naturally controls and defines. Our second product was the Mixed Roots Curl Stretch and Custard. This one. And then we had the Aloe Vera Gel. Oh, this one. Okay, shh. Don't tell anyone. But to make it even, I'm now going to try the TGIN Twist and Define Cream. I forgot. See, when you have so many products, you're like, oh, I forgot that one. Because this one is one of my favorites to use in my hair. So let's see how this one works. So I'm just applying the cream. Cream. Got the curl former. So the TGIN cream also has coconut oils and it has vitamin E. Second product is the lovely Mixed Roots Replenishing Oil. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells good. I like it when it smells good. Oh, a few drops. Oh, okay. That was a little bit excited. So a couple of drops. And then take the section of your hair. Okay, so a tip that I'm gonna say from now is wash your hands in between applying the products. As my hair, as my hair, as my hands are starting to feel a little bit sticky, icky. So I'm just gonna really apply the oil all the way through my hair. Just gonna apply the oil. So you can tell that it's a different texture to when I apply the creams and the aloe vera gels as the creams and the gels obviously are more water based than what the oils are so we definitely well not definitely we hope to see a difference we have Mrs Millie's leave-in sheer butter which is vanilla and strawberry and it's a natural range and it's vegan friendly and as you can see, I am quite a fan as I've used most of it. So this one is solid based. Lucky that I can see myself because I would have known that was there. <laughs> Here we go, just making sure all the product is distributed through the hair. And that's what you need to make sure if you want your curl formers to come out nice and moisture. So I definitely believe that using a gel type base of aloe vera gel is good to, with the curl formers. And I think it's great to have an oil base, so mixed roots oil or any type of oil that doesn't make it feel too greasy and is 95% at least natural. And then I'm definitely going to say a curl stretch and custard that doesn't create shrinkage for you curlies. So I hope my product junkie review has helped you decide what type of products to use on your hair. And um, I hope that me choosing a variety of oils, sheer butters, creams, custards that you are now familiar with, what you can go out and try.